Hey, Tim and Joel. Our next guest is one of Australia's most respected journalists. Prime Minister, welcome to the program. I ask the questions Your audience on are, this program. Are. She's an author, podcaster and host of 7.30. Thanks for your company. Good night. Here to face her toughest challenge yet, please welcome Lee Sales. Hey. Are you serious? I, I know. Why? Or whatever it is you say. Oh my gosh, why are you here? We are not sophisticated enough I know. for you. Look how articulate I, I am when Lee Sales enters the building. I am bringing some class in. Oh, finally. Oh my, oh my gosh. It's also been very hard to get, I will be honest. We've been trying to get you since you announced that you were leaving about oh. two and a half years ago. Oh. <laughs> you, know what, you know what the funniest thing about that is? Tim always says when we go through the lists of you know people we could possibly get in and have have a chat with. He's like, why can't we get Lee Sales? I've just seen her wandering around the street, dropping her kids off to school. I see, I, I see well, she's her probably heard the show. She, yeah, she you know, can't be that busy. This is why you can't get me because I'm always running around dropping my kids yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. bloody kids! Go exactly. Yeah, Joel people, loves hearing about kids. <laughs> yeah. People keep saying to me, um, you know, the family time I'm about to have is very overrated. <laughs> yeah, be but careful I, what you wish for. But, but you weren't like most politicians. You, you didn't ever say you were leaving 7.30 for family time. No, in fact, I've thought quite a bit about, oh, God, because no, I'm always at work in the evening right now. I've got to cook their dinner every night and yeah. clean up their dinner and help them with their homework. Oh, I don't know. Is it too late for me to get the gig back? Because <laughs> <laughs> you've, been, you've been doing it for 12 years, and I also notice it, it makes me feel better because on radio, like we've been doing radio for ages, and people still don't know your name or the name of the show. I heard someone talk about Lee Sales from a car an affair the other day. <laughs> what, are you serious? She's not even on at the same time. You know that lady with the hard-hitting questions? That That's, girl on... Uh... You know, do you know what? At the gym one time, I was there, this is a few years ago now, and I walked past this bloke and went, hey, Julia Gillard. <laughs> What? Oh, God. Well, I'm still the girl that grew up on the TV. Well, so. there is. You'll never get away from that. You'll be 96. And, yeah. And you'll I be, know. Yeah. And Thank people you think very I'm much. Ellen DeGeneres. So. I know. You're a lot nicer than her. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something. Mm. I don't genuinely don't even know what to ask you, Lee, because normally we have, like, the calibre of, you know, guests we have on this show normally. I mean, um. <laughs> Do you speak very... your love, Sonia Kruger? Exactly. <laughs> oh, so you're a listener. Great. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I've seen great. this segment. I've been um, I've oh, been doing you? my prep. I've Researching. Been, yep, I've been oh um, like an athlete. What does Richard Glover have to say about you being here right now? He is going to be filthy. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> filthy, Glover. Yeah, he, he plays dirty too. So What are you going to do, though? I mean, a little yeah. radio would be fun. or I, I do enjoy doing a bit of radio, yeah. I must say. I had a, a stint for a while um, with Mick Malloy, where I used to go on his show pretty regularly, which yeah. was very fun. Um, so, yeah, I love, I love doing that. I do occasionally some other um, commercial radio, you know, guest appearances and stuff. Um, I am having six months off and hopefully doing nothing um, yeah. if I can. And then I, everyone keeps asking me, and I think everyone thinks that I, I have a secret plan that I'm going to reveal. I literally have not lined <laughs> anything up. It is the first time I've ever <laughs> left a job and not had the next job locked in. And I'm kind of excited about that because I just want to see after my six months off, like, mm. who am I when I'm not tied to the news, you know, every single day? You can present the mm. drum, which is a couple of hours earlier. I could, I could do that. I could do, like, I, I look at people that do a once a week show and I think, oh, oh a no. once a week show. Wouldn't that? That's living the dream, isn't it? Doesn't that build up the pressure to make one day really good? Whereas oh. for us, we can have five days that are average. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not five that are average. Maybe four that are average. Yeah, okay, TGIM is always good. I mean, the, the, the thing is about you, Lee, is that we know that what you do is wonderful. So whatever you do and wherever you come back or whatever, you, you know, we're going to be looking forward oh, to it. Oh, well, thank so, you very much. Like, That's very kind Please of you. take your break and come back slowly. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Much, or yeah. what? What about doing like a complete one hundred and eighty and hosting something like Love Island or Maths? Oh my that god! Would oh really, my god! The new Sophie <laughs> Mark. That would really surprise people, wouldn't it? The it new would. Sophie Mark. Undo the yeah. top button and we could do an would, audition take. I would for def- you. definitely need to get some tanning action going on. To you will cover this pasty white ranga skin of mine. That's for sure. <laughs> what is the biggest thing to have happened while you've been on air? Uh Bob Hawke died. Uh, well, he, the announcement came when we, we were live on air. Oh God, so, spoiler alert. Yeah, so that was. You don't want to pre-record really... that show for a long month. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> exactly. In fact, yeah. any, no Glastonbury there. Where's <laughs> Lee? Cafe Sydney again. <laughs> <laughs> any any time that you basically send someone home early, guaranteed some big yeah. news will happen. So if you, if I say to my producer, "Oh, look, it's pretty quiet. You should get out of here while you can." 
yeah. that is going to kill somebody significant. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, great. Because so I think in the last day we had we we had off and Britney Spears announced her pregnancy <laughs> and everyone went, oh, God, those, yeah. those guys really missed that one. We were all over the Britney Spears pregnancy on 7.30. Yeah, I thought that so. was, <laughs> me, was a lot of... We did that's, a lot of big... That's where we turn to. Yeah. That's where the nation gets, gets their news. What's Lee's take? <laughs> what, what, about, what about with showbiz, though? Because you do get to still interview some fun oh, people. I do, yeah. yeah. I absolutely do. Who would you like to interview, though? I would love Adele, because she seems like great Would talented. you listen to the album, though? <laughs> I would listen to the album now, that's for sure. <laughs> I'd be singing it back at her now, <laughs> yeah. that's for I- sure. But, I mean, th- see, that, you know, I think, tragically for him, his biggest problem was that he wasn't a quick enough liar. Whereas yes. if I had been in his position and she said that, I would have gone, oh, Adele, it's wonderful. Your voice sounds as amazing oh, as well. ever. Uh, you know, I would have just lied. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're it's a mother. About, he was, you could say, skill. we are going to go to the park later. Like, like me, t- exactly. Like me telling you guys, I prepped for this. It's, the lies just flow. Well, you haven't watched past quick draws. Um, we are going to get to quick draw in a second. Um, what about you and Annabelle Crab though? Because uh, you're going to take over the world. You've got you got a live show I've seen coming up. I know at the Enmore Theatre in Sydney. Is that right? Yeah, that's this weekend. Taking, oh, that's yeah. this weekend. Yeah, great. Two shows this weekend. There. Um, yeah, she's uh, we're sort of the, the Mick Jagger and Keith Richards of yeah. um, Australian entertainment, really. And who's who? <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. Well, I've um, seen Annabelle on the wine, so I'd say she's Keith. She's Keith. But then again, I, have, I haven't seen you on the wine so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'll take being Mick. I'll happily be Mick. Yeah. Now, you've obviously interviewed Albo a thousand times, and what yes. we do get to do uh, have on this on this segment, apart from having you on to give it some classes, we get the Prime Minister of the, the country yep. to deliver the rules of Quick Draw. This is Anthony Albanese, and these are the official Quick Draw rules. Rule number one. Your first response is your final answer. Two, if you answer incorrectly, your opponent has a reasonable amount of time to respond with their answer. Three, human error is sometimes unavoidable. Be a good sport and above all, have fun. And finally, the rules are the rules. Got that? Mm. That's the PM, so you can't argue with that. Absolutely. Oh, finally. um... Ultimately... Tim will exercise his discretion. Oh, God. So self-indulgently. I'm sure you've worked with plenty of people like that before. (laughs) Does he push that button like 20 times a show? Tim will exercise his discretion. I have it on my phone. If I can't get a restaurant reservation or something. (laughs) Um, I give a category and a letter, and the first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. Joel Creasy, you are taking on lease sales. I don't know how this has happened. This is. I'm genuinely terrified. Like... No disrespect, but last time I played Quick Draw, it was against Julie Goodwin. So yeah. and she was flustered. <laughs> yeah, see, she was. Joel, I've got more to lose, right? Because <laughs> yeah. do you really? yeah, that's true. People, people think go I'm, home. Yeah, people think I'm an intelligent, you know, credible. <laughs> not that they don't think you are. Yeah, no, they don't. No, that, oh no, wow, fine. that was yeah. very tellingly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very, very anxious. The boss hey. might be on the phone. He's like, we'll wrap it up tonight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good luck, guys. Okay, here we go. Practice question. Then we'll come back for real. Name a show on the ABC starting with A. Uh, ABC yeah. News. Oh, that's oh, pretty good. Well done. <laughs> that's actually great. Uh, Lee Sales is here. Going to play Quick Draw for real next. Kate, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. Yes, we're very happy to have Lee Sales in uh, presenting Australia's leading nightly public affairs program. It's 7.30. The last show is uh, Thursday, so a week from today. Um, did you take it over when it stopped being 7.30 report? Yeah, they yeah, just... I, point, still, I don't know why they did that. I still call it 7.30 report. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it was kind of a strange thing. I like 7.30 report. Same. It just rolls off the tongue beautifully. Oh, can I just say it'll be a real shame not to see you on oh, there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Like just a real basic kind of emotional, sentimental thought. Well, Tim will still see me around the neighbourhood apparently. Yeah, oh, I'm sure yeah, he will. Yeah, yeah. Bang on about it. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to talk about the people who have a higher kind of IQ than he does in the studio because he thinks it high as it is. Yeah. <laughs> I know people from all media organisations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, no announcement, obviously, on your replacement yet. Uh, there is, actually. It's oh. um, Sarah Ferguson. Um, oh, there is. Sorry, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I love Sarah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, she's a great operator. She'll be good. You're in safe hands. Okay, good. I did yep. see that. Yeah. I'm just not sure sometimes what's embargoed and what's not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I have made the, made the mistake of reading out an email as it came through live. Oh, but then on the, the bottom was embargo till tomorrow. Oh, God. Well, don't send me email. Oh. Put it at the top. Put it at the top, exactly. Well, just don't send me email. You're, you're a big gossip. Oh, yeah. I don't want to you're break the news. Yeah. That's not your fault. I blame the publicist <laughs> yeah, there. Always blame the publicist. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, here we go. We're playing I'm for real. So best of seven. so nervous. You did very well before. Good luck, Joel. I know. Very I, I can't even look at you, Lee. You've got the psychological advantage because you got the early answer right. Mm, there you go. Oh, that's true. That's yeah, true. Okay, okay. cool. Oh, Question number one. Name an author starting with J. An author? Jake Rowling. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear the question. <laughs> oh, God. This is going really badly Jake so Rowling. far. Oh, Joel. Oh, I would have yeah. gone Judy Bloom, but I mean that's Would's showing right? my age. Yeah. Who's Judy Bloom? That choice uh, of she, arms, she, 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 No, <laughs> she, she wrote a very kind of coming of age um, book, yeah. maybe in the eight. Was yeah, it the eighties? Um, uh, uh, Hello, God, it's me, Margaret. Yeah, that's right. Oh my God, amazing! Oh, Read wow. it now for all uh, uh, teenage girls, prepubescent. Yep. yep. Oh. No, it's very. Wonder if it stands the test of time now that it's. Well, let's have a read. You've got some time off now, haven't you? <laughs> you should, you should, should do a you. book podcast. A book club. Oh my god, you should oh, do a book club. Yes. Kate will do the lamb lollipops. Authors, yeah. fellow that's authors. Exactly. That's oh, right. Yeah. How many pages in your book? Like? <laughs> <laughs> And also, how big is your font? <laughs> you don't no answer those laugh They're so loudly. loudly. They're so mean. How yeah. many pictures in yours? Yeah, Comic Horrible. Sans doesn't count. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible lads. Yeah. Name a liquid starting with L. <gasps> Lemoncello. Lactose. Lactose. Lemoncello. Lemoncello. Lemoncello is good. Yeah. I love oh, lemoncello. Wow. You are killing this. Oh, crazy. no, we've got two points to oh, Joel already. I'm I know. Like, really, Lee, really, oh. you have to get the next one to stay in the game. It's good, it's good to come from behind, though. Come on. No, is tell it? me about it. I hope so. <laughs> Name an animal starting with W. Walrus. Well, I'm back. Walrus, I think. Yes. Is in. Walrus yes. is in. Thank God. You're in. And, and you're in. Too. Very cool, calm, and collected now. <laughs> Name a type of berry starting with B. Blackberry. Blackberry. Oh, oh, I think he no. got it. Oh, yeah. your, oh. ans- your answers are very good, Lee, but I think <laughs> you're used slow. to being able to <laughs> take, take a breath and, and, yeah, and take I need, pause oh, yeah. and deliver. Good, good so point. You, I need to do the in-breath while Tim's yeah, still yeah. speaking. You need yeah. to get in real quick yep. because okay. if you don't get the next point, you're out Done. of the game. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll put this on my CV. If I this. It's also this. 12 years of doing a show on your own. Oh, you man. Take your own, you take totally. Your time. It's like this soccer thing the other day. I feel like I need to do that wiggle thing. Just distract you Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. For the win, Joel, to stay in the game, Lee, name an instrument in an orchestra starting with C. Cello. Thank God. Lemon cello. Oh, Oh, well, you've made it a game, Lee. (laughs) Awesome. Good. Name something you report about on the news starting with R. Regulation. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yes, you were. Oh, that is no. so. Oh, how seven thirty is that? Oh, no. Regulation. Oh. Tiebreaker. I was going to say Roger Federer. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's a good answer. It's three points all, Tim. Yeah. Tiebreaker. Come on, Joel. Come on, Joel. Okay. For the win, whoever gets this is one the game. Oh, this is. I reckon you both used one of these places okay. before, so this oh. should be good. You've okay. been to one of these places. Okay. Toilet. Oh. Name something you'd purchase at a chemist starting with V. <gasps> Oh, okay, we're gonna go, I'm going to go to the replay. Oh. I'm going to go to the replay because it's it's too tight to call this one. Uh, we'll go to the replay. Oh, the my question God. Was, name something you'd purchase at the camera starting with V. And what did you say? Vic Vaporub, I said. Oh, that's, that's very classy. Yes. And what I did said, you say? Vite. I said Vite. I used I that before Mardi Gras to remove my body hair. <laughs> like they say to not put it on those parts, but it actually works. Body. <laughs> can't believe I just said that in front of Lee Sale. I think Vic Vaporub does the same thing, doesn't it? Oh, it does so it? potent. Here's yeah. the nose hairs. Here we go. Vic Vaporub. No! Lee, I think it's Lee. Yes. My reputation is intact. Well, 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 well. We will see you at 7.30 tonight. And Thank for you. your any, any big plans for the last show, like glitter cannons and you know, champagne? <laughs> all of them. Uh, the, no, they're, so Friday night they're doing like a best of um, kind of thing. For which the full is, half hour? Um, yeah, for the, <laughs> how dare you? So you won't be there. Half hour, I won't be there. But I've seen the rough cut and it made me cry. Okay. Oh, it made me laugh. It's really good. Well, it's congratulations. Great. Thank you we very much. You. Thanks for having me in. You're a legend. Thank you very much. This is Woo! Kate, Tim and Joel.